Hey everyone, what's going on? Rob here from Captain Rob Games, and today we are going to be discussing the Death Slinger nerf. Now, before I get into this, I do want to put my opinion out there. I think that these changes are bad. I think that it's bad for Death Slinger. I don't think they're good changes, but I also want to add in the context that I myself, when looking at this ahead of time, actually personally recommended pretty much these exact changes and um i was wrong since i have played him i've come to the realization that he is just inherently problematic in the way that he plays and i think that this is a problem in overall dead by daylight in general first things first let's talk about the actual changes you can no longer shoot until you have fully aimed down sights now this is brutal this is absolutely brutal, because so much of Deathslinger was about quick shots, immediate fires, basically firing without aiming. It was incredibly hard to pull off, it was higher skill cap, but you had to do it, because the time to catch Survivor in a lot of these windows, it's really, really short windows that you have to hit people in. So this was an important part of his kit. The flip side of that was that there was very little counterplay that these Survivors could do, and that it was extremely frustrating. Now, I understand that. That's why I had recommended the changes. However, here is the problem. Dead by Daylight is an asymmetric game. Survivors frequently want to feel like there's this 50-50 even power balance between them or the killer. Maybe the killer's slightly favored, right? That doesn't work in a macro con context. It doesn't work in big picture. For the fun of the game, I agree, but the problem is that the game itself needs a significant overhaul for this to work. Now what do I mean by this? Deathslinger gets one shot. If he quick shots and he misses, it's incredibly punishing. Missing as Deathslinger is incredibly punishing. It slows you down, the survivor gets to keep running away, he then has to stop to reload his gun and then start chasing again. He it is a significant loss when you miss your power. It is significant. Even when he hits his power, he still has to reel in a survivor and hit them, and he's not guaranteed a hit. And if a pallet is dropped, he then has to break the chain, usually kick the pallet, and reload his gun before he can keep going. Now, why am I bringing all of this stuff up? Death Slinger in his previous form, felt oppressive to survivors in chase when he was used by very, very skilled Deathslinger players. They still weren't winning matches. Why? Because he has no pressure on generators. The problem with this game is that you have to have insane sort of macro play and the ability to actually have generators slow down. And you have to end chases so quickly as Deathslinger that the survivors can't finish the generators while you're going through all of your things. And he has so much downside to missing and potentially not being rewarded for his hits that he can't really apply map pressure. Not to mention he is a 4.4 uh, movement speed killer. So his entire theme was that he has to down survivors incredibly quickly if the survivors are playing even remotely efficient. So the fact that survivors now have a very fair encounter with Deathslinger. It nerfs his chase significantly, but nothing was done to improve Deathslinger's ability to prevent generators from being done or to slow the game down. So now he's just not really playable. He's harder to use. There are some things that he could have done previously to try to hit you or get downs on you in certain loops that he just can't do anymore. A lot of loops are just more challenging for him. Anything where he doesn't have a shot on you, he just can't shoot you anymore because of the amount of time that it takes to pull the gun up. And he's also getting penalized, which I'm actually fine with this one, um, being, pen uh, being penalized for putting the gun back down. That's how it should be, right? In my opinion, Deathslinger should have an immediate gun pull-up. Maybe if he does the quick shot, it takes longer for him to recover. Maybe it takes even longer than it does now to put the gun down. 
so that it's more fair. The problem survivors had was the fake outs. That's what the problem was. The pull it up, put it down, pull it up because they couldn't juke. Allow the quick shots, but don't allow them to pull it down quickly. Make that pull down animation painful. Taking away the quick shot is a significant nerf and it just doesn't work in this game. Right now, killers who don't have gen regression have to down incredibly quickly just to keep up with generators. It's a huge problem. I don't love this nerf. I think that it doesn't address the problem. Maybe Deathslinger will still be okay in chase, but gens are just going to get done and he's just going to be a bad killer. Put him versus Huntress. Huntress throws a hatchet. She gets an injure. Deathslinger can't even quickfire anymore, so he has to actually land his shot on a survivor that can now juke it and even if you land it you still have to spend time reeling them in and you're not even guaranteed a hit so death slinger i think is going to be in a really bad spot right now um he's going to be harder to use there's going to be significantly more counterplay and he has not been compensated in any way he was already only a b-tier killer he was a b-tier killer that got nerfed wraith was also a b-tier killer that got nerfed i don't understand it Someone please make it make sense, but let me know in the comments what you think about the Death Deathslinger changes, if you think that they're okay, if you say, you know what, I'm fine with him being trashed here just because he was so unfun to play against, that's fine too. Let me know if that's how you feel. I know some people feel that way. They're like, screw it, nerf the killer in the ground. I didn't enjoy playing against him. A lot of people feel the same way about Spirit. Anyway, if you like this content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.